If one comes to call vengeance justice, such justice will only breed further vengeance. What's up, YouTube? Is this Crunch Patrick here back here with another video for everybody? And today we're gonna be talking about Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights has been very quiet in the past couple of months, honestly. It's been like what six months or so since the trailer was released, and there hasn't been much information really been released on this game other than well, this takes place after the Arkham Knight storyline. Um, Oracle is Batgirl again, which that. Definitely could use a little bit of splendid. And also, we got Damon Robin, and we got Nightwing, Dick Grayson, and then we got Jason Todd as Red Hood, of course. All right. Now, I'm happy that there's a great game coming with this being as a team sort of game that you can play as all these characters. So, yeah, I don't see my boy Tim Drake, Red Robin, all right, which has kind of got me kind of heartbroken, kind of disappointed not to see this. But I want to speak on this fact because Gotham Knights just has been very quiet. I I did a little bit of research and you know I looked up to see that it has an initial release date of 2021. Now it has no concrete date. All right, so that's best to assume that this game doesn't have a release date yet. Honestly, it's just got an initial release date. In other words, places like Walmart and places like that just put 2021 just to be putting a date up there for the game. Alright, now that's no concrete saying that that's going to be when it drops, but I would think that maybe this game will drop maybe like late 2021. Now, there's just no confirmed information, but it seems likely. Now, if it's not 2021, then it would just broke the end. It means it's going to be released around the same time that the Suicide Squad game possibly end up being released. But I would like to play Gotham Knights this year because Gotham Knights looks really cool. Alright, honestly, it looks fire. Now, it may not look like the other Batman Arkham games like Rocksteady's been doing, but I can, I can get with it. You know, I'm not really tripping, honestly. It's, I'm sad that, once again, we don't see the entire Bat family. I'm not sure what's the deal with that. Why we can never get a proper game or animation movie where we can get the entire Bat family. Like, can we not get Nightwing, Red Hood, Red Robin, and the Robin... And Batgirl, all in one animation movie together, or a game, something, alright? We can never get that. It's always somebody missing. If it's not Red Robin missing, then it's Red Hood missing from... And it's like, it's crazy, honestly. And I'm not sure what they got against having the entire Bat family together. And I'll admit, when I first saw this game, I was a little skeptical by how it looked. But then, I started thinking to myself, I shouldn't judge it off first appearance, you know. I'm going to get the benefit of the doubt. I want to see what this game brings to the table. And what new features may come with this new style of gameplay for. And I'm definitely looking forward to see what it comes to be. Since how this is the first time in a very long time where Rocksteady will not be developing a Batman game and uh, things like Mo Warner Bros, Montreal, something like that. I'm pretty sure I messed it up. My fault. And it's basically it's a whole different developer is basically taking over for Gotham Knights. So which it would heavily explain why it looks very much different compared to the previous Batman games. But it's not a Batman game. Kind of is, kind of not. You, you, you get the idea, right? It's the Bat family, all right? So yeah. I just hope some information comes about this game very soon and some backstory behind the whole Barbara Gordon as Batgirl again. I'm assuming this takes place after the Arkham storyline, most likely. I will find it hard to believe that this will take place before, you know, Damian Wayne, Robin, you know, all that. But anyways, besides all of that, I definitely want to see some information drop. Please do not pull out Avengers on us. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys send me to our conversation below about Gotham Nights and what you expect to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.